Please look at those guys on the roof. Boy, that's the hottest, most dangerous part of this fire right here. When people see video footage like this, they often wonder what firefighters are doing on the roof. Longtime news anchor Frank Buckley brings up this great question. It's Frank Buckley here. As we push in there, those firefighters are, are on the roof right next to the to the holes there where the, the fire is coming out. Are they in the process of venting or are they trying to get water down into that? Or what is the process there? What, what exactly are they doing on the roof? Uh, I, whatever it is, they don't pay you enough, that's for sure. Firefighters use chainsaws to cut holes on the roof to perform vertical ventilation, which is the systematic removal of heat, smoke, and fire gases from a structure and replacing it with cooler, clean, fresh air. Now, ventilation does not put out fires. However, it dramatically assists in the attack, control, and extinguishment of a structure fire. Effective ventilation will accomplish four main objectives. Saves lives, assist in firefighter access, control the horizontal spread of the fire, and reduces the possibility of flashover and backdraft. Now this building had a strong conventional flat roof built with heavy timber that takes longer to burn through than a lightweight roof that provides us time to complete our operation. Truck companies cut a smoke indicator hole to help monitor conditions, established three heat holes over the fire, and cut a long strip the length of the roof to help stop the flames from spreading to unburned portions. While this building was red tagged, deeming it unsafe to enter, Many think that means that the building is completely destroyed. However, this is a key point. The vast majority of this building was saved. It's important to state that fire attack crews inside did an outstanding job and proper vertical ventilation was a force multiplier in saving this building and preventing flames spreading to adjacent attached businesses.